Jake is wise to do evil. You ain't got to teach Jake to roll a blunt. He already know. He already know where to get a Dutch. He already know where to get a backward. He already know how to roll it, how to break it down, how to do all that. You ain't got to teach Jake how to cook a pork chop. Let's get it poppin', it's the Prophet Zamar, L.O.Z. soldier, and your Howard told me it's almost over, in a synagogue of... If you call yourself a so-called Christian, right, everything you do has to be uh, with the understanding that you are a, re a representation of the of Hamashiach Yahawashai, whom the world ignorantly, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, right? Let me get uh, the book of Luke chapter 2 verse 49, right? Because this is, this is what we're out here to do. We're out here to give the people the understanding of the, what the Bible actually says. We're out here to give the understanding of how you're supposed to move in this world. You're supposed to move upright in righteousness. Right? Let me get that, Baba Kusha. The book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 49. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Okay, so how is that ye, that ye sought me, right? I know a lot of us brothers that, that are teaching this truth, we get called. Can't, uh, I know. What are you doing out there? Well, come out and hang with us. Bayas, what are you doing? Come over here and, and spend some time with me. Your Tazika, what are you doing? Come here and spend some time with me, right? Read on. Will she not that I must be about my father's business? Don't you know that we are here doing our father's business? Right. Don't you know that we are here preaching the word to our people? Right. Don't you know that we are here to bring our people back to righteousness? Let me get a Jeremiah 28 and 8. When you come into righteousness, you got a better understanding of these things. You got be, you got a better understanding of what it is to, to keep the Most High, uh, the Most High's laws, to walk in righteousness, to keep the Sabbath, to keep the dietary law. Can't read that. The Book of Jeremiah, chapter twenty-eight, and verse eight. The prophets that have been before me, and before the the, the of thee of old, prophesied both against my countries and against great kingdoms. Exactly. So the prophets before us, they were preaching these things. They were preaching against you eating pork chops. They were preaching against these Catholic churches, against these religions. They were preaching against these other nations, against kingdoms, great kingdoms. And that's exactly the same thing we were doing. This ain't nothing new. Our forefathers been doing this work. Our fathers been on these streets doing this work, right? Our forefathers have been trying to bring uh, Jacob back to the marriage, right? But our, our people are so stiff-necked, like the scripture says, we, we, we don't know any better. We don't want to know any better. Let me get Jeremiah 4.22. We don't want to learn any better. We just want to keep uh, being niggas. We want to keep be, uh, uh, being thugs and gangsters. We want to keep sagging our pants, jumping from girl to girl, from woman to woman, and keep doing whatever the hell we want, right? But that's not what the scripture commanded us to do. Read that. Uh, 4.22. Four the book of Jeremiah 4 and verse 22. For my people is foolish. Okay. They have not known me. They are sardis children. They are what? They are sardis children. Okay. And they have none understanding. Okay. They are wise to do evil. They are what? They are wise to do evil. Jake is wise to do evil. You ain't got to teach Jake to roll a blunt. He already know. He already know where to get a Dutch. He already know where to get a backward. He already know how to roll it, how to break it down, how to do all that. You ain't got to teach Jake how to cook a pork chop. He know the measurement of salt he got to put on it. You know, he already knows these things. You ain't got to teach Jake how to, how to boil uh, uh, some, crab, some crab legs. Right? Jake already know these things. Is there some more in it? They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. They have no knowledge to do good. They don't know what it's like to keep the Sabbath day. They don't know that, that, that when you keep the Sabbath day, when you come into this truth, it refreshes you. You become a new man, right? Let me get uh, Acts 3 and 19. You become a new man, and that's what we're trying to bring you into. We're trying to bring you into the marriage, bring you into righteousness, bring you into the, the understanding of what the scripture really says, right? Ready? Okay. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore. Do what? Repent ye therefore. Say what? Repent ye therefore. Okay. And be converted. And be converted, right? Read on. That your sins may be blotted out. You got to repent and be, be converted 
that your sins may be blotted out. That all the things that you did in this past life, like we have also done, that they may be blotted out, you know, most how willing. Because we've all done things, right? We've all done things that are worthy of death, right? right? And we're trying to bring you into that righteousness so you don't get taken out when Hamashiach Yahweh comes back. When you see those chariots flying, it's too late. It's too late, Jake. Sister across the street, if you don't come back to righteousness, when Hamashiach Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, comes back, it's going to be too late, sister. Keep reading. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Because when, when you get into these scriptures and you really understand where you come from, who you are as a people, as a nation, and you start to follow these commandments, it refreshes you. It's like when you get out, out of a hard day at work, you've been sweating out all day in, in, a, in the sun, and you take a shower, you feel refreshed, but spiritually, right? right. Spiritually, you feel refreshed because you're not that same person anymore, right? You're not that same uh, uh, person you was when you was in the world, right? right. Let me get uh, Luke 19:27. Because Hamashiach Yahushua is going to come like a thief in the night, right? And if he comes back, by the time he comes back, if you ain't upright, it's too late. It's too late. You know, a lot of you are going to be screaming, Lord, Lord. And he's going to be, he's going to tell you, depart from me. I never knew thee. Right? right? Uh -huh. So you got to come back to righteousness before it's too late. You know, it's like, let me, let me get it, Romans 13, 11. You got to come back to righteousness. You got to come out, out of this, out of this sleep you're in. Out of this coma that, that you're in. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native American, they're in a state of coma. Right. They're neither here nor there. They're just like zombies in the street. Right. Every city you go to, our people are doing the same thing. Oh. Doing the same thing. The, the, the southern kingdom is over here, uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. They're over here in front of the liquor store. You know what I mean? Drinking and smoking. Trying to, trying to get a, 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 in some girl's pants. Oh. And then the northern kingdom, the so-called Mexicans, Hispanics, Native Americans, they're on the other side of the city doing the exact same thing, but yet they don't consider that they're a people, right? Read that. The book of Romans, chapter uh, 13 and... You said 13 and 12. 13 and 11. 13 verse 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. High time to what? To awake out of sleep. High time to who? To awake out of sleep. It is high time to awake out of this deep sleep that you're in. Out of this coma that you're in. It's time to stop selling drugs. Put down the drugs. Right? Put down the backward, put down the duchess, put down all these philosophies of men, put down the Islam, the Catholicism, all these things, you got to put them away. They're no good for you, right? Because we, we've already tried all these things, and as a people, we haven't come out of, we haven't come out anywhere. We haven't come out on top. Just here in Fort Pierce, from corner to corner, you got three or four uh, uh, churches, three or four different churches, and what have we accomplished? They call Fort Pierce the city of no pity. Killer County. Right? But yet you got 15 different churches on one street. How is this possible? These churches aren't helping us. They're keeping us down. And past the pork chop, as long as you put something in the sides, you know what I mean? He's good. We got to come out of these philosophies and ways of thinking. Let me get Colossians 2 and 8. We got to come out of, uh, of these worldly thoughts. We got to come out of this way of thinking. Let me get that. Colossians 2 verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Through what? Through philosophy and vain deceit. And you've been spoiled through philosophy and vain deceit. You've been spoiled through Islam. You've been spoiled with Christianity. You've been spoiled through Catholicism. You've been spoiled through uh, Seventh-day Adventists, to Jehovah's Witness. You've been spoiled through all these avenues, and you still don't realize that that you're you're a prey in this in this uh, world, right? Let me get uh, Revelation 18 and 4. You are a prey in this world. To these other nations, you're like food, right? They see you as food. They come set up shop in your neighborhoods, and they feed you all these things, all these philosophies, all these abominations, and you don't realize 
that you're like in a maze. You're the rat looking for the cheese, right? Right. Let me get that, Bible shot. Revelations 13, verse 4. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. 18 and 4? Oh, Salaki, I thought you said okay. Salaki. Man, that, that's all you hear over here in, uh, 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 in Fort Pierce. Sirens, day in and day out. Get, let me get that. The book of Revelations, chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. That ye be not partakers of her sins. That ye be not what? Partakers of her sins. Don't be partakers out of her, of her sins, right? Because why? And that ye receive not of her plagues. Be, be not partakers of her sins so you don't receive these plagues that are coming up. So you don't receive the, this coronavirus. So you don't receive this uh, uh, so-called monkeypox. Or the, the devices of men, right? Because there's a lot more to come. You don't realize it. But it's like the scripture says, the last days is going to be like a woman in labor, right? Right. Uh, it's going to be the pains come and go, come and go. And as the, the, the day comes, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. And we don't realize it, right? We don't realize that we got to come back to the marriage, come back to righteousness, come back to what we were taught as a people, right? Come. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his ways. Every one according to what? According to his ways. Okay. Saith the Most High. Saith who? Saith Yahweh. No, saith me. Saith Yahweh. No, saith the guy across the street. Saith Yahweh. The Most High commanded these things. He's going to judge you. And like the scripture says, he's going to start at his house first. He's not going to start with these other nations. He's going to start you. That's why you get shot down in the street. That's why you scream at justice, no peace. Right. That's why you get no justice in any of these kingdoms because he started with you. Right? Just like a mother or a father, he chastens who he loves. He's not going to chasten the other kids at the park. Right. He's going to chasten his kids. Right. He's going to punish his child. Right. Who cares about the other kids? Right. And the most high cares about you. He's trying to bring you back to righteousness. Oh. Let me get our Ephesians 4.22. It's high time to wake out of sleep, my people. You know, and we, we come out here day in and day out. And a lot of you may think that we, we get tired of this, but we, we're not going to get tired of this. We're going to do this work till the chariots fly. That's right. That's right. You get that. The book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 22. Okay. That ye put off concerning the former conversation. The former what? The former conversation. The former conversation. Oh, I, I'm going to roll this blunt. Or oh, I'm going to get a pack from so-and-so. Right? Or oh, 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 uh, 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 BJ down the street, he, he, he got this and that. He got, he got uh, uh, eight balls and he got this and that. No, we got to put off the former conversation. Read on. The old man. The old what? The old man. Put off the old man, the sagging your pants, the selling drugs to your brothers and sisters, the prostituting your, 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 sis, uh, your sisters out here. Right? The robbing and stealing and shooting and killing. Right? Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Because that old man is corrupt. And that's why we're here to teach you. That's the end of the conversation. That, that's the end of the matter. Let me get that Ecclesiastes 12, 13. You got to put off this, the old man. Put off the old conversation. Right. Like my minister says, you got to put the stabs on him. Right? right? You got to put the stabs on the old person that you were. You used to sell drugs? Put the stabs on that dude. Not... Not literally, but spiritually, right? You got to get rid of that person and come into righteousness. You get that. The book of Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Okay. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. What's the conclusion? Fear God. Fear who? Fear God. Okay. And keep his commandments. All right. For this is the whole duty of man. That is the whole duty of man. That is the whole purpose of why you were put here. Let me get the next verse. For God shall bring every work into judgment okay. with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Of whether it be evil. Let me get one more scripture. Galatians 6 and 7. Everything, whether it be good or evil, 
You thought nobody, no, you thought nobody was looking, but the Most High is always looking. You thought nobody knew what you had going on. You thought nobody knew that 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 you sold, uh, uh you sold uh, uh, this and that to so and so, and he died, and nobody knew, right? You thought that you you raped homegirl down the street, and nobody found out because she was scared to tell somebody, right? Right. But the Most High was watching. That judgment is coming. Let me get that. The book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. All right. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. God is not what? God, God is not mocked. You can't fool God. You can't fool God. He ain't forget about that thing you did. He ain't forget about all those sins that you committed. Read that. For whatsoever a man sow, okay. that shall he also reap. Anything you sow, that's what you're going to reap. Right? You reap rape, rob, and murder. That's what you're gonna. That's what you're gonna get back. Let's get it poppin'. It's the Prophet Zamar, L.O.Z. Soldier, and your Howard. Wake up, people. It's almost over. In the synagogue of 